boys and girls. It may not look like it, but today is actually kind of cold. The weather forecast for today is around uh, from plus 1.5 to minus 1 Celsius um, with a lot of wind coming. So I'm hoping that the place I'm in uh, is in a decent direction uh, in, in terms of, of the wind coming. Today um, I thought that I would take the chance to talk to you about dressing for the woods. Um, for my birthday I was given this. This is not sponsored or asked to do. This is a birthday present from my mom and my and my grandmother. This is the Boreal Mountain Wall Anorak, the rough model. And I in in in, in my daily job I deal with outdoor clothes and this is something completely different. Made from thick, thick wool material. Uh, I actually took this after it came to my birth city, uh, where my grandmother lives, who also um, was a part of the present. And I took the the anorak, even though it was summer, and I put it on. And she walked up to me, and she did like this. And she knew the smell. Um, the smell reminded her of uh, when her late husband was uh, a, a fishing boat captain and he was sailing and she called it camel's wool. I, she wasn't able to explain in, in terms what this was but she remembered the smell and she recognized the fabric and she was very much aware that that jacket is going to last me forever. Uh, her late husband, uh, he was called Hans um, was a fishing boat captain and he used to sail wearing similar garments not 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 like this but he had garments uh, for uh, fall and winter fishing um, that reminded her of of this um, so my complete setup today is my wool anorak wool hat uh, I have my Fjell Raven or Fall Raven uh, Vita Pro trousers on. They are old, they are used, they are full of wax, uh, so they can take it. I am wearing merino wool socks and a merino wool base layer uh, long johns. Uh, and people would ask me, why wool? Because this is not the Swedish mountains and this is not the boreal forest filled with snow. I wish it were, but this is Denmark. This is... Uh, the worst we could get would be a minus 10 on a severe winter day. Not sure if we even get snow this year, but we are in winter time. We are shooting in December. Um, so we don't get the, the arctic cold, but Denmark is very humid, so when the woods are wet and moist and cold, it is cold here. I spoke to a girl uh, in the city uh, 14 days ago, Canadian girl from Toronto. She was in buying a new jacket because the jacket she had with her uh, wasn't severe enough and her proper winter jacket was back in Canada. And shipping that jacket here would be too expensive so she was shopping for a new one because she said Denmark is cold mm. and it is uh, so a test run today actually because I'm not completely warm just sitting here I'm okay uh, and I believe that when I start working I will build up heat but 
the, the building up heat pot and doing firewood and dragging logs and tying up tarps and doing the saw and doing the axe work will make me hot and will make me sweat. But uh, moisture from your body and the material of the wool is able to not, not absorb but to handle uh, being moist or wet. I believe that wool has 75 or 80 percent of the isolation still left when wet or damp. I'm not saying that if I jumped in the ocean then I wouldn't freeze, um, but being moist underneath this would not be a problem for me. I use the same garments, not this, but base layers for skiing. Uh, so a test run today, a small talk, but wool is something else. Um, and I have figured out that over the last three and a half years of me uh, enjoying the great Danish outdoors, uh, that wool is an, is an essential part. Um, so is axes. But wool is an essential part. So today I'm actually shooting a completely different video and if you would like to see that uh, I'm, I brought a tool that is not made for this part of the world, not made for what I'm going to do with it, uh, but a test if I can take one specialized axe and build a fire. Nothing more, just the axe. So, so I'll pop a link in the description box below if you want to see that video. Uh, hope you could use some of the the advice or information that I had about wool. Uh, I have heard that that some people find it itchy on the skin. That I have never experienced. Um, I, I would guess that if you purchase a low quality cheap wool like from, from the supermarket it, it could itch a bit but um, but but if, if you just spend a little more you would gain a lot less quality fabric wise um, yeah and it will last you a long time and keep you warm. So Stay safe boys and girls and talk to you next time.